By tradition, in year 30 of his reign, Ramesses threw a jubilee called a Sed Festival and turned a king into a god. On Heil Ramses. The Sed Festival was a magical religious reaffirmation of the strength and power and prowess of a king. It was usually held once every generation. Only halfway through what would be a 67-year reign, Ramesses had already eclipsed all but the greatest pharaohs and his achievements. He had brought peace, maintained Egypt's borders, and built great monuments across the empire. His country was more prosperous and powerful than it had been in nearly a century. By becoming a god, Ramesses dramatically changed not just his role as ruler of Egypt, but the role of his firstborn son. And as commander-in-chief of the army and the heir apparent, Amenher Kepesheth became effective ruler of Egypt. He was pharaoh in all but name. Religious tradition usually places the exodus between years 20 and 30 of Ramesses' reign. While a pharaoh became a god and his son became a ruler, an exiled prince returned to Egypt, a man who believed in one god, Moses. He's got wealth and power and assets He's a force to be reckoned with. He's got the ability 